Wow. Wow, God. Wow, Jerry. You know, when God speaks to us to hear something that's hard to do like that, something that's going to require discipline, uh, it, it, many, many would not have listened to that word. But God is wanting to do more for us always, wanting to, to heal us, wanting to invade our circumstances and make a difference. And I don't know what word God might give you for your situation, but I know that there are just many, many of you who are so hungry to hear God speak, so hungry to have a change in your circumstances. We know that God heals. We know that He hears your plea, He hears your prayer, He sees your circumstance, and He heals. And so today, we want to join with you. The Bible says when two or more are gathered, He's there in the midst of them. So today, we want to be two of your two or more. <laughs> we want to lift you up before the Lord. We want to hear from God as well, just as, as Jerry heard the, from the Lord. You know, we, God wants us to hear His voice. He wants to speak into the midst of our circumstance. So today, let's pray together. Let's pray that God would move in the middle of your need and that you would know it, that you would see it, and that He would be glorified by what he does. We have some other situations people have written in about. This is Rose who wrote by email. She said, I watched a recorded program of the 700 Club on March the 4th. When prayer time came, Gordon said to touch the place where you need healing. I touched the back of uh, the part of my back that's been in pain for a few days and the pain stopped. When I woke up this morning, no pain. I give all glory to God, and thank you both for praying for people every day on your broadcast. Well, here's Virginia from Chicago. She had something like a knot in her throat. She had difficulty swallowing, eating. While watching the show, Virginia heard Terry say, someone, you have some kind of condition where you can hardly eat anything without it coming back up again. But today, your answer is found in Jesus Christ. You are being healed. Well, Virginia believed, was able to swallow the moment Terry finished the word of knowledge. Now, faith is an act. Uh, we, we want to think of it as a noun, but it's, it's an act. It's a verb. And, and you can get all religious about faith and say, okay, I, I, want, you know, I want to drum up faith. Listen to that wonderful story. The, what an incredible testimony of God's faithfulness. Mm. It's easy to say. Jesus is all, your, all you need, but it completely turns when Jesus is all you have. So look to him. If you're in a desperate circumstance, just look to him. Don't look at your symptoms. Don't look at your circumstance. Look to the answer. Look to the author and finisher of your faith. And in an act of faith, looking to him is an act of faith responding to him as an act of faith. In an act of faith, lay your hand on that area of the body that needs healing. We'll agree, the Bible says, when two or more agree touching, it shall be done. So you touch, we'll be your two or more agreeing, and God will do the rest. Lord, we lift everyone to you. And in an act of faith, we lay hands on that area of the body that needs healing. And Terry and I agree with them as they lay hands. We agree touching it now. Anointing of God flow, healing of God come. Be in their bodies now. May they be free from all pain, all infirmity, all disease. Now, in Jesus' name, be healed. Terry, God's giving you something. Yeah, there's someone, you have the weirdest condition. It's, um, <laughs> I don't know what the base of this is, but your fingernails and your toenails kind of curl up like they've gotten very thin and there's obviously something wrong in your system. God's correcting that right now. You're just going to see it begin to change. Be healed in Jesus' name. And someone else, you have digestive problems. I mean, so much so that you can... You don't even want to eat because it's such an unpleasant experience. You've lost so much weight. God's healing that. You have your hand on your stomach right now. Just receive that warmth that's coming into your stomach as God heals that condition for you in Jesus' name.
Um, there's someone you've you, you've got a problem where your left shoulder is higher than your right shoulder, and I don't know if it's related to curvature of the spine or bone loss or or what, but it's interesting. You're not laying hands on it. It's sort of like you just accepted it. God's calling to you, just as He called to Zacchaeus, come down. May that left shoulder come down, and may everything with your spine, your back, your entire being be made whole now in Jesus' name. Everything realigned. You just felt everything relax, and God is healing you and restoring you now in Jesus' name. Yes, someone else, you have activity like in the frontal lobe of your brain that is causing some um, odd responses in your body. Uh, you've not had any kind of surgery for it, though it's been contemplated, but you're healed right now in Jesus' name. Receive that. There's someone you've had a blow to the back of the head, uh, right where the neck and head join. God's healing that and restoring you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you've been healed, let us know. Give us a call, 1-800-700-7000.